Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware of the 8 bitdo SM30 Pro. This is actually also going to apply to any 8 bitdo controller device, and we're going to be doing it today with the Mac operating system. So I've got my MacBook Pro 16-inch 2021 with the M1 Max chip, and basically we're going to be doing the firmware update. So the first thing we're going to need is the USB-C cable. So I'm using the one that came with the actual device, and in order to attach this, we're going to need to use the adapter, or you could probably use your USB-C cable if you wanted to to attach directly from your computer to your 8-bit DOE controller. However, I'm going to use the one that's officially supplied. And basically, I'm going to use one of these adapters. This is one of my hubs that I'm using, which converts the USB-A to USB-C. And this goes back into USB-C here. Basically, I'm going to connect it up to my computer. And then I'm going to put the other end into my actual controller here. So this is now connected to the computer. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this website. This is the 8-bit dose support website. And basically what I wanna do is to download the upgrade tool. So we're gonna scroll down a bit on the page and then we're gonna to go to the macOS download. We're gonna download the Mac version of the software. And once that's downloaded, I'm gonna to go to my finder. I'm gonna to go to the downloads folder and we're gonna open up the 8-bit dose firmware app data. Now that that's opened up, I'm gonna drag and drop this into the applications folder and I'm gonna open that up. I'm going to find the 8-bit DOE firmware update in here. So that's installed now. I don't have to download it again in the future if I want to update the firmware. Now we're going to double click and press open here. And now we have the firmware available to us. So I can see here my original firmware is version 1.35. So basically we can choose to update to the latest version. This was released very recently. You can also downgrade to any previous version. I can always go to the original firmware if I wanted to, but I'm going to update to the latest firmware. Here, I'm gonna press the update button. So that's now updating here. So make sure not to disconnect this while the firmware is updating because we might brick the actual controller. So now that the firmware is updated, that's all complete. And we can now disconnect the controller. So I can disconnect this now. And if I power it again, then it's going to be using the updated firmware. So that's all going to be completed. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorial videos on my channel. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.